So even though I recorded that uh, the video you're going to see, this is a video about culling hives and just how important it is to just make sure you're left with only your best stock this time of year. Uh, the video that's gonna come after this is the one I recorded first, but I realize the visual is probably better. And so here's what we're doing. Usually what I'm doing, I'm actually just splitting the boxes apart and feeling the weight. So I'll start by you going like this, split both of these, tip them. That one's a bit on the lighter side. And so first thing I'll do is pop the lid, make sure there's bees in there. This obviously looks like a really viable colony. Set it aside. This one's got good weight to it. Still could use some topping up. Obviously bees look good. So that's what I'm doing. Then Tyler's coming behind me there and, and feeding, but it's kind of doing. That one got good weight to it. This one's on the lighter side. I <laughs> just had to be find where my my uh, jacket was riding up and gave me a little kiss, but with the wrong end. Anyway, yeah, so that's the, if there's colonies that are strong, but they're really light, I'm marking them just so that we know to come back. Because this is, this should really be our last round of feed for most of our colonies. And these all feel good. But here, just so you have a visual, this is what we're looking for here. Our bees this time of the year. And that's two boxes full of bees is what we want to see going into. Feel the weight on this one again. Anyways, I'm going to put the camera away, but anyway, that's kind of a visual of what we're looking for, and then we'll go to one here that I found that we called, just so you have a, have a visual. So here's a perfect example of a colony that I don't feel is viable or worth uh, putting additional resources into. I'm not even going to pull the frames out, but just coming up to it, I mean, obviously, hardly any bees in the top. Uh, I mean, they've gone through the sub, but there's maybe two or three frames of bees down there. They obviously have some brood, but they really haven't put any weight on. And so that's, that is a colony that we're going to cull. I can't tell you how often I fell into the trap of looking at a hive like this, closing it up, thinking, oh, you know what, maybe it'll come back, maybe it'll and you put more and more money into it and time, which, you know, as I always say, money you can make back, time you can't, uh, only to see it, you know, crash. And so even though it's painful, it's uncomfortable to do, it really is better to just call hives that uh, you have doubts about. Just get them out of the operation and save, you know, save your time and energy for bees that are excellent. I mean, like, you know, this hive right next to it here is uh, looking good. I mean, this is a 50% cull. Look, we got two colonies that are dead. Let's see what this third, or fourth one, I should say, is looking like. Good looking colony. They're a little on the lighter side though, so we'll set the, set the uh, lid aside there so that they can uh, get fed, but. Yeah, go heavy on calling this time of the year. It's not worth your time or your resources to, to do anything otherwise. You know, a uh, trend, I've, there's a few YouTube channels that I watch and a couple that just come to mind. Well, actually there's three come to mind. Uh, is Ian's uh, Canadian Beekeeping Blog, or Canadian Beekeepers Blog. Bob Binney, uh, he's out of Georgia. And then uh, the California beekeeper, uh, Jose. Uh, those are three really interesting channels. Learn a lot from them. And something they've been saying that I thought, you know, is really worth reiterating here too. And that is this time of year, there's really minimal stuff you can do for your bees. If they're failing, uh, which actually reminds me, Chris at our retail store is saying she's getting a lot of calls from people 
saying that they're losing their queens. And um, just off the top of my head for the time of the year that it is, I would venture to say it's probably just the uh, breaking point of high viral loads. And so it's just really, really important to just be on top of those mites. If your colony's crashing this time of the year, just, just, just take it as a learning curve. Uh, don't beat yourself up over it. It's just a learning curve. And just remember to be really on top of the mites early in the year uh, for 2023. Uh, this here is a colony that I marked as a potential breeder breeder colony. I've got probably about, I don't know, maybe 15 or 20 of them spread out throughout the yard. As you can see, I mean, it's a good looking colony. Uh, this is a four pound slab of pollen sub. We gave them a week and a half ago and they're pretty well through it. And the two boxes full of bees. And so uh, I like what I look like what I see so far is what I'm trying to say. And uh, yeah, so I mean, colonies that are that are weak, that are failing, uh, just write them off, or as we said in that last last video, just merge them with other colonies, because there's really is little that we can do. We're not we're not looking at really any brood at this point. All we're assessing is, or do the bees look viable? Does the colony look viable to save? Uh, and or put more additional resources in, i.e. feeding, you know, which is what Tyler's doing. Say hi, Tyler. Hey, how's it going? Doing well. Doing, oh yeah, you're asking the YouTube people, not me. So I'll, uh, at this moment, I'll have a pause of silence so that you watching this video can respond to Tyler. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There. So anyways, yeah, so that's all. Just, uh, you know, look at your bees. If something seems off or wrong, this time of year, minimal amount of things you can do. Uh, in closing, if you have questions, uh, feel free, leave them in the comments. And uh, if there seems to be a trend, we'll just go ahead and do a video uh, about them and uh, go from there.